Okay guys, coming to you from my dirty kitchen floor uh, to tell you how to fix this Whirlpool uh, water filter housing unit. Uh, yesterday, just a quick little backstory. yesterday I decided to pull this water filter out, get the model number and go buy me a new one. When I put it back, it started leaking all over the place, which resulted in nice water spots on the carpet that I now get to clean up. So, uh, to save you the headache of purchasing this new, this new housing, which the housing is this kind of yellow unit, it's all one molded piece of plastic there, um, it's like $40 online, somewhere between $40 and $60, depending where you get it. It's very easy to clean and fix if it just happens to be clogged up like mine was. Um, so, anyway, this one I've already fixed and reassembled, and I really don't feel like taking it back apart, because it's not real simple, no, I mean, it's simple, it's just kind of a pain in the neck, so I'm not going to do it. However, I happen to have another fridge that's white uh, in my laundry room that I've also taken apart, so I'll show you on that one. So, to take this apart, it's real easy, there's lots of videos online about it. There's uh, three screws, basically there's a screw here, it's a quarter inch hex nut, and I just get a little socket, pull that out, take this retaining clip off, Take these two off, those are 5 16 inch nuts, also an 8 millimeter will work if you don't have a 5 16 And then you reach back there, you push the red and the blue tab, they may not be red and blue in your situation, but you put the, push those tabs in and pull the hose out, those will pop out, and I say pop right out, but it ends up inevitably that those are a lot more difficult to get out than what they say that they are. So, you take that all off, and I'll show you what you get. Okay, so here's the black fridge in the kitchen, and over here's the laundry room, there's the white fridge. So, I'm going to set up on the counter here where I've got the unit from the white fridge taken apart already, and I'll show you how I disassembled it and fixed it so I didn't have to pay the money to replace it. Uh, quick little money-saving tip. Okay, so here's where they came out, and what was happening here is there's little valves down in there, and when you push the filter in, this is the filter, it's got two little O-rings, make sure you inspect your O-rings before you put it on there, uh, but when those go into those two holes in there, there's two valves, you can kind of see them there, uh, those will push out, and while it's in use, those are pushed out. So if you have any calcium, lime, rust deposits, whatever it is, uh, in your water, they can get between the O-rings and those, or well, the, the O-rings and the surrounding plastic, which, when you pull this out, can lodge them open, cause a leak. Okay, very easy fix. This is probably most commonly what is causing this to leak. Um, these are just the quick release things. All I do is take a flathead, pop the little caps out, and I'm going to set these in order. That's very important because you want to make sure that you get these assembled back in the proper order and the proper direction. Okay, now there's two little recessed units here. I just stick the flathead under and pull those out. I don't know if that's the best or the correct way, but it works just fine. So that's what I'm going to do, and that's what I'm going to show you. Okay, so I pull the white one out here, and you'll notice I have two sets of O-rings in here. Now I'm going to be very careful pulling the O-rings out, and when I pull these sets of O-rings out, I'm going to inspect the O-rings, make sure they're not cracked, dried, etc. Place those in order. And again, I'll do that on the small side. The large side is the top side, which is the inlet side. The small side is the bottom side, which normally this would be placed in this position here. So this is the top, the large one. This is the small one, which is the bottom one. Then I'm going to pull this plastic thing out. Now these not, might not come out so easy, so you may have to tap it, but be careful. There's springs in there that will let loose. So you can kind of tap, tap those on the counter, and the rest of those should come out. And what I've got here are two little plastic uh, retainer rings. One has an open side, one has a closed side. Uh, one is small, one is large. Of course, the large one goes on the large side, the small one goes on the small side. And then there's two springs, same thing. Those are actually identical, so they can go whatever. And then you have these two little nipple valve things here. One is small, one is large. Make sure you inspect the O-rings, make sure they're not dried, cracked, etc. Uh, rinse those all out, because most likely they're uh, full of... Uh, calcium or rust or whatever is in your system and then put it back together. This is just as simple as when you took it apart. Put the large one in, put the small one in, put the springs in, put your little doodads in, make sure the open large side is up okay because that's what's gonna go in the pipe itself and then put your o-rings in and make sure they're seated properly. You probably want to do those one at a time do one, seat it properly with your finger, do the next one, seat it properly with your finger, etc. And do the same thing over here. Put our P 
pieces in here, the little retaining pieces. Not real sure what all these parts are called. And these ones you probably have to tap into place a little bit. Then we're going to put our little quick release clips in here. Make sure that all the four, four little tabs go in there correctly. And reassemble. And voila, most likely you've fixed your leak and you've saved yourself 40 bucks. Uh, thank you for watching.